Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick preview of Mark's uh, digital AV board for the CPS2. That's this guy right here. And I am so excited for this because, um, as some of you may know, I've been doing uh, CPS2 consolizations for quite some time. And um, one of the things that is such a pain in the butt is dragging CRTs to events. And granted, that's the cheapest and easiest way to um, achieve low latency um, as far as uh, you know price and connectivity. Um, but if you want to interface with newer displays like LCDs and whatnot, um, you are going to need some sort of widget to go between the uh, low resolution RGB of the board and your display. Um, a lot of people will use uh, some of the XRGB products and whatnot, um, but a lot of those um, have a frame buffer, so they're going to read in one uh, one screen's worth of information, do whatever scaling or processing it needs to, and then output that to your monitor. And um, so that means that anything you're doing requires at least one frame of latency. Um, with this, it's actually drawing to your destination monitor as it's reading from the board. So your latency is in is in the realm of scan lines, like a, like I think it's less than two scan lines before it's actually printing to your destination screen. So I mean, we're talking microseconds versus. Uh, tens of milliseconds, um, so pretty impressive. And um, the reason that this board is used versus, let's say, the um, the open source scan converter that Marks also did, is because, um, as you can see here, all these uh, all these wires, this is pulling digital video information right off the CPS2 motherboard. And so what that allows us to do is bypass any sort of analog to digital conversion. So it's going digital from the board, uh, or from the motherboard, to Mark's board. He reads that in um, and does his thing. And then uh, that goes to this HDMI chip, and then that's going to go out to the display. Um, also, the, um, the audio is digital. So um, Capcom used a audio digital audio standard called I2S on this chip right here, and that is still supported to some degree um, with HDMI, and so that gets fed into uh, this FPGA here and incorporated into the um, HDMI information. So um, pretty. Awesome. Uh, Marx is still ironing out uh, the firmware for it. Um, I have some uh, rudimentary 480p um, demo stuff in here right now. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show it hooked up. And um, these other signals over here, um, just so you kind of get a heads up. Um, there is uh, horizontal and vertical sync, and then this is a um, 2x clock right here, and that actually requires a coax cable, where it's got a um, a shield, a ground shield around the signal because it's really sensitive, and then the rest of this stuff um, isn't super sensitive. Um, I did it's kind of a messy uh, ribbon job there, but. Um, what I intend to do for the final kit, um, I think Marx is going to go through a few revs of this, but I would like to do a helper PCB over here that will actually um, solder uh, onto um, this main board and make the necessary connections here. And so there'll just be one ribbon cable coming out over here, and the pin order will be all matched so that basically all you do is just solder a board in here 
and then you know one two three four boom 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 everything will already be in perfect order there and that'll save a lot of hand soldering because that's always the goal in these kits is to uh, eliminate um, as much hand soldering as possible there's no way of getting around this and these signals those have to be uh, hand soldered um, but overall I'm really impressed um, with how things have come together my intention uh, internally inside the case will be to have something like this or there's this panel mount connector and this HDMI cable and uh, that'll all squeeze into the case nicely and so yeah that's uh, that's it I'm excited I'll probably do another video sometime soon of the actual video output but I just kinda wanted to show you a, a little preview of um, the installation of this guy. Thanks.